All right, welcome back. This is a follow-up video on the 1000 PSI high pressure misting pump. Uh, a couple pointers, a couple build uh, changes, you'll see. So uh, first I wanted to point out that the pressure switch is different than in the original video. This is actually a higher amperage switch. So if you're, if you're building this, you'll see that that is a, a different switch than in the original video. Uh, the second thing I wanted to point out is that to make sure you change your oil. We didn't change our oil for like a year and it came out black. Uh, it starts green, like greenish. And uh, so yeah, get some oil from Cat and then to change that, you just drop the drain plug on the bottom down there and then fill it up through your fill port and check your sight gauge on the little window right here. The other thing is, I had a lot of people contact me about this, a couple of, of them, at least every couple of months. When you build this, there is a woodruff key that goes on the shaft. So it should be a shaft with a groove. There's a little metal piece. Supposedly it's at the bottom of the box. Make sure you put that keyway in it, or not the keyway, but the woodruff key in the keyway and then put your pump head on. I had a lot of people calling me that their system's not turning on, that nothing works, that it's just, you know, the motor's running, but nothing's pumping. So put the keyway in, all right? The other thing is, your regulator, it comes backed off. So when you first get it all hooked up and go, loosen up this nut and then use an Allen screw and screw it in. But watch your pressure because you can push it over a thousand and you don't want to. You want to bring it up to a thousand and then stop. All right. Um, so that's the, some of the pointers. Beyond that, uh, and, and with the oil, we're changing it every six months. We, we only run our pump five minutes every hour, so it doesn't really run a whole lot. And after six months, it's still like kind of clean, uh, kind of clean oil. So the latest thing I wanted to show you guys was this. We no longer feed the water off of the city water. Uh, we now run it off of RO. So we reverse osmosis and this gets it down to like 18 ppm, which is very, very clean. Uh, one thing to note is that your systems a lot of times will have like your taste enhancers. So you want to tap in before that. Um, so follow your lines, check your TDS. Basically, if you tap directly at the tank, it shouldn't have that taste enhancer filter uh, going through it. You don't need that for this. So we got the RO water and then we got it going through a UV sterilizer. So there's ultraviolet light inside of like a glass tube. Um, there's a bulb inside of that glass tube and the water flows around it and then to the pump. That way, if there is any bacteria or anything in your lines or in your system, this will, will zap it. So uh, the other things that I wanted to point about the design of this system, in one video I show the, the, the nozzles all on the fan. I didn't do that anymore. I, I now have the nozzles running down the ridge. And also I was running 12 thousandths nozzles. You want to run 8 thousandths nozzles. So that's about it. I wanted to update for anybody who's building this just to, to kind of avoid uh, having to answer the same question over and over again like I have already, especially with that shaft. Um, but yeah, make sure you're changing your oil and uh, check your pressure too. Because I know like this, we've been running this for almost three years now and I had to adjust the regulator recently because the pump's starting to wear out. So you want to come up here every once in a while and check what the gauge is reading and adjust your regulator accordingly. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, make sure you shop on MyersMushrooms.com for all your mushroom supplies and needs. And check out, check out kit.co slash MyersMushrooms for stuff like this, all the different projects that I've built. Take it easy. Keep on mushrooming.